Hey, what's going on guys? Wild with Wild's Lawn Service here, back in another video, and today guys, I'm going to show you real quick how to make mud flaps, like these ones here. Now these are actually homemade flaps we're going to be making, and I'm going to go step by step throughout this video to show you guys how to do it. But before you guys waste time watching the video, the finished product is going to be a little something like this. Now, keep in mind, this is for a pickup truck. Uh, it'll look a little different for cars, but I just want to show you what the finished product is going to look like, which I think came out really good. So with that guys, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so for this project, what we're going to start off with, step number one is get your piece of ABS plastic is uh, what I use. Now for my mud flaps, I want, I need four of them obviously for four tires, and I want each of them to be one foot by two foot. Um, so what I end up getting is, uh, I got a 24 inch by 48 inch, or a two foot by four foot piece of ABS plastic. I think I got it on Amazon with free shipping for like 30 or $32, something like that. So it's really not that bad, pretty inexpensive. But what we're actually going to do is you got to get this big plastic sheet and cut it down to whatever size mud flaps you need. So say, for example, you have a small car and not a truck and your mud flaps are one foot by one foot. Then you only need a two foot by two foot sheet of uh, ABS plastic, which will be even cheaper, maybe only 15 or 20 bucks. So just something to keep in mind that figure out what size mud flaps you're going to need roughly and you'll make the rough shape with the ABS plastic. Sheet. Since I'm going to turn this plastic sheet into four one foot by two foot sections for my mud flaps, uh, what I'm actually going to do is use a yardstick and uh, you know one of these tools here. And I'm just going to get up some rough idea on um, how to divide it into four sections. Uh, I'm going to split it right down the middle both ways and uh, this way I have four even sections. Because so again, I already ordered this to the size I need. I just need four different sections out of it. So once I get that all figured out, I'll be good to go. And now if you're wondering why I'm actually looking to split it both this way and that way rather than just four times like this, um, it's actually because I want to make sure I have straight edges from the factory, 100% straight. Uh, those edges are going to be the one that faces the outside of the truck. If it's not perfectly straight, that's going to go to the inside of the wheel well where no one's going to see, so it doesn't really matter. But this way I'm guaranteed to have two straight sides on each one uh, that I can put on the outside of the truck. One more thing I want to mention real quick before I do these measurements is going to be that ABS plastic like this actually has um, a side here like this that's rough, it has a texture to it. That's the side you're going to want to be the back of your mud flap facing away from your wheel. The other side of ABS plastic is going to be smooth and slick like this. That's the side you want to be facing your wheel. This way if dirt, mud, or snow, or ice, or anything gets flicked up onto it, it's smooth, it's going to run off or come off a bit easier. Whereas the textured side is more likely to hold it, build up, and it can cause, it, cause issues down the road. So you're definitely going to want to make sure the slick side is facing the wheel, as you'll see later in the video. Alright, so I'm not sure how it's going to come out in camera, but I do have all my lines on here, working out four separate um, pieces or four separate mud flaps is what it's going to be. Um, now I'm actually going to use some cardboard and make some templates of uh, just one of these rectangles, so just the 12 inches by 24 inches. Again, that's my uh, specific application. You guys may be a little different, but I'm going to use cardboard to see how exactly um, I want it to fit on the truck, and I can use that as a template to then cut this however I need to get it fit the best. This way you're not wasting ABS plastic, you're just using up cardboard, which you probably have laying around anyways. Thank you. 
So after you finish cutting up the cardboard, this is what you're going to be left with. Um, I have this rectangle right now, but I actually made two marks on different opposite corners here that I'm going to cut out uh, as my piece is angled and sticks out a little bit. So this way I can see which angle I like more um, for the looks of the truck. But this is what you're going to be left with. It's a perfect template to see how your mud flaps are going to fit. Alright, so now that we have our templates here cut out, I can show you what I mean uh, by how I'm going to use it. Now I actually have two here, like I said a little bit ago. Uh, this one here is a less of an angle, this one's a bit more. I want mine to stick out some to protect everything from getting hit with mud and dirt. Especially since I live on dirt road. So, I want to show you. Boom. That gives me a good idea. That right there is the fairly steep one. That would stick out a ton. And as much as protection it would have, it would look pretty stupid. So I can try this one. It's less of an angle. And check that out. I think that's a pretty good fit. Let me show you from the back side real quick. Alright, so here's a real quick back side view of the uh, one with the more extreme angle. That's how far it would stick out. A lot of protection, but at the same time, that is a little bit excessive. Uh, if I move it in a little bit, that might be doable. So I might have to do that. We'll see. But let me try this one here that's less of an angle. So I can bring it up and over like that. And that already, I mean, that still is a lot more protection and coverage than it had before. It'll keep my, uh, it'll keep my running board here from getting all nasty. Um, and I just got to figure out high, how, how high up or how far out I want this. Um, but now you guys know why you make these templates. So you can see exactly, get a feeling for exactly what you're looking for, and then go from there. Alright, so now if you guys are wondering how exactly you cut ABS plastic, uh, I like to use a table saw, works really well, you get really straight lines. Or you can also use a circular saw, that's not a problem. Or you can also use a jigsaw. Any of those three work just fine to cut through it, um, but you need something like that. A razor blade won't work as it's just too hard of a material, and it's really hard to get a nice straight line. Trust me, I've tried it. So I'd recommend either a circular saw, table saw, or a jigsaw. With that, let's get right into the cutting. Yeah, now I got four of them just like this. My one foot by two foot pieces, perfect for what I need. Um, I still gotta cut the angles on them yet, but um, I haven't decided for sure what angle I wanna go with. So I'm gonna hold this up and see how it's gonna look being this color. Um, but now you guys have an idea how to cut this and uh, it works pretty well too. Alright guys, so I'm outside now, uh, we got done with making all the templates and whatnot, and I had a chance to trace it over to these. I did one half the truck as practice before I showed you guys how to do it, and this way you guys know how to do it right. But anyways, we got the flaps here, uh, this is one of my front tires here, and actually that's one thing to know with your front tires. All you gotta do is turn your tire, and most times you'll have access to, into this. Um, this one actually is turned right now to be able to work on the other side, but all you have to do is have it facing like that, and you'll be able to get into all these. But anyways, I just use self-tapping screws here. Um, I have four of those, and then the one that came on the front here uh, with the truck. So I have all those in, and it's very sturdy, guys. Definitely not going anywhere. Um, I did actually end up cutting this out as well. This way, there'll be no gunk building up behind it, because it's cold here in PA, and in the wintertime, I could see there being mud behind it, freezing, pulling it out, and then my tire will rub, and we don't want that. And then we got the back side here, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do this in just a second. But I want to show you with the back side here, I actually have um, two push pins down here that came factory from the truck to hold this plastic piece in, as well as three of these self tapping screws, and then a spacer back here. This one actually has about an inch or inch and a half spacer as the uh, truck is set further back in here. But this way it maintains nice and straight. It's pretty straight like that. It looks pretty good. And everything is pretty even from the back there. As well as the front, as you can see, everything's even and exactly where I want it. And this will work for a truck, car, it doesn't matter. It's the same principle and same general idea if you guys are using plastic like this to make your own mud flaps. But we still have this side to go, uh, front and back. There's my friend Hunter walking away, get out of the video. But we still have front and back over here to go, and we'll show you guys how to do it right now. All right, so real quick, like I said, if you guys turn the tire, in most cases, you're going to have plenty of room to get in here and work on the flap. You won't have any problems there. All right, and for this one, it's pretty simple. I have plastic pieces here with screws that already existed here. So what we're actually going to do is pop out these screws here and drill new holes to go in. If your truck has something similar or your car has something similar, what you could actually do is hold the flap where you want it, um, set it up against these, and take a mallet, 
touch it there, uh, smack it, and you'll make little indents of where you need to drill. So that way you know where your holes are. After that, it's pretty simple. All you're gonna do is take some of the self-tapping screws and go up through the uh, metal on your car or truck and you'll be good to go. Alright, so the front one's on. I just realized that I didn't completely finish recording. The camera turned off. So I ended up putting these other three in. You guys saw those two go in to hold it in place initially. Put another three self-tappers in. And uh, it's really tight. It's definitely not going anywhere. The bottom has a little bit of flex, which is just what we want. So now we're doing the back. And I'll show you these part here real time to make sure you guys can see how well they go in. Alright guys, so real quick, my truck has these push pins here, so we uh, just used the one, we drilled through and pushed the one pin in, and obviously like, we didn't know where the other one was going to be, so we took a pencil from the other side, marked out where it was, so we could drill through, and now to stick the, uh, and then when we went to drill it out, we just swiveled around to the outside, drilled through it, and now we'll put it right back in, and uh, put the other push pin in. And now with these two in, it'll be held enough that we'll be able to use our self-tapping screws the rest of the way up to get it the way we want. Okay guys, so now for the important part, when you have it partially held in place, you want to look to make sure it's lined up the way you want it with your vehicle. And I'll show you guys on the other side here how I have this one lined up and I'm using it as a reference. That way they both turn out pretty symmetrical. And I think that that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to have him hold it there and I'm going to put some self-tapping screws in and we'll be good to go. One thing I want to mention real quick guys is make sure you have a drill bit here so you can drill through your mud flap and then uh, put the self-tapping screw in through the metal. Uh, you don't want to put the self-tapping screw in all the way through. And also by drilling it ahead of time you can make sure you're lined up with your truck's body panel or car's body panel and make sure you're going and putting in where you want it to go. Alright guys, we got all this part on the flap here, and like I said, we have this interesting little gap here behind ours that I've never had before with a vehicle, but it's not that big a deal, it's got to have a spacer for it, so uh, we actually just drilled a little hole right here, and we're going to run the spacers through, um, and it'll pull it back like this, and I'll show you what happens to the flap when you pull it back, straightens it out, and makes it look a lot better, and uh, keep everything all tidy. Alright, so the setup we're going to be using for this mud flap here is actually going to be a 2 inch bolt with a washer, then there's going to be the flap itself. After the flap that gets put right here, we're going to have this little spacer, as well as a second one here. And then on the very end, is going to go a little lock nut here. So it'll look a little something like this, with the mud flap being right here. And it'll work really well for spacer, and these are just extra parts we had laying around the garage that just worked. But you could also probably use a whole bunch of washers if you needed to, or just make something like we did. Alright guys, so we just put the spacer in there, went in pretty good. As you can see, there's still the gap here, which is not a big deal at all. Uh, we got the spacer in there, so it's nice and tight still. Everything's snug, this thing's not going to go anywhere. So now all we gotta do is put the tire back on and we're good to go.
All right, guys, so real quick, we got the mud flaps on and everything's looking sharp. I wanted to give you a real quick walk around of the truck and how everything turned out. But as you can see, I think it turned out pretty good. We'll go to the back one over here. Everything's lined up and looking pretty sharp and uh, everything is definitely stable, so it's not going anywhere. Then we'll move on to the driver's side here, which I didn't record on camera. This is our practice side just to see how everything was going to turn out. But as you can see, this side all turned out pretty good as well. So yeah guys, this setup actually only cost just under 25 bucks for the mud flaps and all the hardware. Um, I bought the mud flaps, it was an ABS plastic sheet. I bought on eBay for about $20 shipped, and then or $22 I should say. And then the hardware, which is a couple bucks. So under $25 guys, and you can have a mud flap set up all around your truck or all around your car. Uh, especially if you have just a small car like a Subaru WRX or something like that. We have even smaller flaps. You'll be able to get away with uh, less material, which is going to save, obviously, a little bit of money. But yeah, guys, I'm super happy with how this turned out. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of how everything turned out. But for 25 bucks, you really can't beat it. As always, guys, thanks for watching another video of the build series. And hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. We're going to see you in the next one. Peace.